Hello guys, welcome. Welcome back in Technology Welfare. Let's see in this video tutorial how to wipe out a completely iCloud activation logo from any Apple device. At the moment guys, this is iPhone 6 that has been connected with iTunes. And this is reflecting at the moment that this device is linked to an Apple ID, enter your Apple ID and password. That's what we used to set up this device. So for your kind information guys, if you are not a genuine owner, now it's not a matter of anxiety. Of course you can consume this device. If you have a got in this device anywhere else, yeah. If someone who has a given to you to unlock this device, so how you will permanently go for termination of this iCloud activations. Here yeah, I will use this strategy that is a device management setting. I will enter in the profile setting and just I will delete the whole data. And after deleting guys, once again I will restore backups and if it is going to work successfully then yes, there will be no old data and due to that, Apple server will not trust that, will not configure it that your device is linked to an Apple ID and a password. So, if no data, no link, no configured, yes, permanently you can consume this device as a new. So let's see how you will do it. So for your more illustration or clarification, just here I would like to tell you, whenever connect, I connect this device in uh, iTunes, now see guys, after assessing all the data, it's a thing that your device is linked to. Similar situation is on this iPhone screen guys. So now what I will do simply I will minimize it and after minimizing guys yeah if you would like to not minimize no problem at all just download this tool. The tool name is uh, here. Uh, I would like to show you it's on my desktop. This one see guys. This one is it. I back up boot so just I will change the boot. And once again, I'm the real true. I have already mentioned to you by using this strategy that is a device management strategy. So here, just I'm going to open it. Download link I have given below the description box. If you want, of course, to directly download. It's for both Mac or operating Windows. It will be a functional in any operating system, either it is Windows 10, Ella, uh, sorry, 8.1 or 8 or 7, of course, you can, no problem at all. So here, I will do just, I'm going to know and just I'm going to, okay, just let me clear. It should be latest updated, guys, otherwise you will have the problem. So this software link I have given below the description box with latest updated from real original website, you need to download this ones. Uh, after downloading, just install in your computer. Now see guys here. I clicked on this because this device is connected at the moment. Now all the information is given on a Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, etc, etc. All the things are from this so firmware. Now see here, all the details. Now, if you see the situation of five terms at the similar positions, is it or not? Now see, I still have the link. So now, just uh, let me come on this here, I boot, I back up boot. So here, what I will do guys here, now I'm going to click on this, now backups and just I will choose this one, backup another folder and I will select on desktop. See guys, for your kind information, just I have selected on desktop and if I see just um, uh, there was no any folder on a desktop if see iTunes guys here now see fine it's uh, still linked and uh, uh, now I will come on this here and here what I will do guys here you must check it out your internet connection is working or not so it has been connected at the moment and it's working so while you're processing the whole procedure of course you should be online. Your system should be online, guys. Otherwise, you will maybe track in the various error and the situation. If you are going to fall in, yeah, you are going to fall in an error. Then the situation you will have the problems. Your iCloud, Apple logo will be stuck on your device. That's why I'm missing you. 
So now see guys here, what I will do here. Now see guys here, just uh, click on it here. So just I'm going to, can I go for? Yes. Now see guys, it has just started to the back of here. So it's going to back up, friends. Now I will have to wait guys here. It will take us costly. Now estimated time has been given here approximately 12 to 10 minutes. So let's see. It is totally dependent on your server and how. Oh, how it's uh, especially processing. So might be error. So just neglect it. Let's see what will happen here. So guys, 95% of chances that you will be able to permanently terminate and with live I would like to show you so many devices has been terminated. So that's why here I would like to show you by this uh, strategy. It's also reliable. Yeah, we have the benefits that no need to download any new firmware of beta version guys. So now it has started to back up so we need to wait guys here. Let's see what will happen. On the other hand, if you see the situation of iTunes, yes, it is still linked to an Apple ID. So let it be on a similar situation. No, don't do anything, so guys. Here, just we have to do everything by using this way, by using this software. Almost I have the completed, guys. Here, let's wait. What will happen here? It's going to firstly back up on a desktop. So, yeah, we cannot minimize it at the moment. And we cannot see that it's restoring on desktop or not. Almost completed, guys. While you're doing the whole the procedure, once again, guys, please use your original data cable spontaneously, simultaneously. You need to use proper speed internet connections. So you have to connect to your device with internet. Now we can minimize it. It's the same as your backup completed. Do you want to load into backup boot? So I would like to say yes. Now it has started to backup on my this back of this now see guys here it's still at ceiling let me be here on the similar situation just I am coming on uh, here this ones now see guys this has been here now see it has been backed up now it's on here Spontaneously, if you see on a desktop, let me minimize this ones. Now, see, guys, here this is on my desktop. Whole data accumulated how much? Approximately, guys, 2 GB. Fine, this is here. Does it have backed up on a screen? Now, what I will do, guys, here let me maximize, and this one I need to go on a still it's linked that should be generally now here we have the restored this ones here so now how the system the file have in here now see 2426 file so what I will do guys here simply I will click on here yeah directly if you would like to refresh no problem so you can go for the refreshing so it's the refreshing let's see Now it's going to load files. I will click here. Let me have some this uh, one on my desktop. It should be sure. 
are still going to load. Fine. Is it on my desktop? Let me see. Yes, this file is on my desktop. So let me come here. I felt a problem, guys. Yeah, <laughs> I need two of those. Uh, 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 actually, uh, I didn't want. Uh, I didn't ex uh, uh, want uh, to refresh it. So once again, I will have to go for the backup of this. I think so. Well, let me see the situation of uh, iTunes at the moment. Yes, it's at the same positions and uh, this ones. So. Once again, I will go for show. Let me click on uh, this device and I will go for backup once again because we need a. On desktop, so. I would like to have a here, this one's all the backup data, show. I don't know why I did why did I ask uh, a different option this one is I did the blunder mistake here guys so see guys uh, now video might be a lengthy more once again so I'm going to delete it uh, yeah this one I have deleted now. Now see the situation is still it's locked. Uh, let me come on this uh, on a this ones and I need to go for backup once again. Yes, I'm going to backup and uh, just uh, a file. I will select uh, this ones on a desktop and uh, once again I will go for OK. I will go for OK. It. Now it's going to. I did very blunder mistake, guys. Here. Now it's here. Fine. The system file here on uh, here we see encrypted and uh, this ones fine now here directly I will uh, I can go for in the systems in the system there is a nothing in system just uh, let me go in a configuration so uh, I will go for C O N F I still having problem can I click on media no in system to I need to go for plus file folder managing no this ones plus file folder no Just uh, application system profile and system profile. Not here, guys. Let me go for refresh it. Now I have gotten guys here. Yeah. This one, so just I need to click on this. Fine. 
now it's going to friends let me open once again friends here yeah. just I will go for systems now in system file I need to write here C O M let me close this C O N F I C O N F I still having problems. This one's configure files. This is configuration profiles, guys. I need to here yeah, just to delete the all the data. So can I go for one by one? Yes, yeah, select all. I will click on a delete all the items. Now let's see. It has gone, guys. After wiping out, just uh, I will refresh it. Fine, it's going to load. Now, once again, I will click on this one. Now, see, guys, just I will click on a system files and I will come here. I will add C O N F I. It's a not coming, so we need to uh, here find out system configurations. System configuration. Fine. I will go for in a library. System profile. Not. So it's your confirmations. Now this is here. This one I will back up another way, somewhere else. So for it, what I will do, guys, here just I will go for refresh it and after refreshing, just let me minimize this ones now. This file is here. Just I will go for. Once again, restore this one somewhere else. So I will click the once again on this one. I will go for the backup once again, and this one I will select. And here, just I'm going to select this ones on my desktop to once again. I will change name. Let's me write here. A C T I. V A T I O N L O C K log and just I'm going to keep it on my desktop so fine it's a thing that it's already there so we cannot save it so can I save it on a hard disk Yes, we can. Let me 
me try once again why I'm telling guys uh, this false habit because whenever it's going to catch your server that's your devices linked then might be by uh, using this restore data of course you will be able to now see here in system files funds we have a uh, already let me go refresh it and just after deleting uh, what I will do guys here I will open here uh, on the other hand the three u tool in three u tools just I am going to in toolbox in toolbox and just I am going to select uh, what just uh, de deactivate this service but before going there I need to select a skip of activation so a skip setup just uh, device is uh, no need so because it's already now so just I'm uh, I'm going to wait here on uh, deactivate successfully fine I'm going to click on here so it has been successfully now we have to come on this three or trolls sorry on uh, iTunes this one see it's a successfully fine now just I'm going to disconnect and connect fine it has been notified now let's see Fine, I need to wait here. So now it has started to assess the data. Now see guys, your device has been alert. So this is an easy way without installing the any any data, any framework. Yes, directly you can by using this MDM strategy. Easily you will be able to terminate it permanently. So can I add it? Let me see. Now, now see guys it's your all so this is this is very easy way of course you can have guys now can I go for the account signings yes you can directly now you can just go for sign in and generate here create new Apple ID and a password easy way just you need to if you have already ID guys no problem just to go for in create new ID and you can now see guys here if I show you once again guys it's working or not now see 3 or tool has notified that your device has been connected fine now see situation of this yes that is no links so this is easy way guys by using this MDM system by deleting all the device management profiles and in this see at the present time situation of this this is your permanent while you are your Apple device, uh, just uh, go for update. Uh, yeah, just uh, uh, in my opinion, uh, uh, iOS, just you need to update. And uh, after updating, if uh, if it is going to, yeah, if you don't update, then if it is going to track the once again, similar strategy, you have to go for by this your permanently restore this ones. So well, let me see here. Let me confirm, Sebas, is there any? In a profile, the data it's going to uh, find. Uh, just I'm going to OK. Fine, just I will go in a uh, system files now. So, see, guys, uh, uh, I have already mentioned to you this one is already back of the file. So, now we have uh, uh, here system configuration, just uh, right here system configuration as so uh, CUN, uh, sorry, CUN. F5, but however if it is not coming then you have to here request now see here below Bluetooth just uh, in the library in the library configuration profile is any data no so fine now just I'm going to close it now on the other hand if you see the situation of uh, iTunes now of course we can go for 
download, yeah, this time, I mean, of course, uh, uh, transfer the any data on this device, and of course, the permanently we can. So this is all about in this video tutorial, guys. If it is informative and acknowledgeable, by using this device management uh, setting profile system a strategy, of course, if you are going to unlock the 99 percentage, you will be able to, if it is going to error any kind of, then of course, there is the query below the comment box. I will give you a proper solution for it, guys. So this is all about in this video tutorial. Thank you, guys. Thank you very much indeed. Have a great time.